Do you ever wonder what a Gen X thinks? Welcome to Gen X Slices. Ah, uh, okay. So something I want to tell you now. I don't. If you guys want to hang up, you can. But this is this is kind of important. Um, I don't often talk a lot of religion because there's so many religions. And but I got into a an unusual conversation um, with two people, and uh, this was like uh, an in person thing, and it was it was kind of planned to have the discussion, but it went in a different direction. Now follow me on this. This is real simple. Right. If God is forever eternal in, in both directions. Hundreds of billions and trillions of years that way before anything was even here. No earth, no nothing. Did God exist? And you go, yeah, there's always God. He was always there. Okay. Then God began creating things because there was nothing and he began creating things. Would you agree? Yes, we agree. He got crazy. Okay. And he does the heavens and he does the earth and he does Adam and Eve. He does people and animals and the earth is here and the sun, the moon, the stars, and off we go. Okay. Remember, this is just very basic stuff. Then they come to me and say, okay, way back here, 200 trillion years ago, there was nothing but God. Now, 200 trillion years later, we have the earth, the stars, and the sky, and the moon, and people. Yes. And we have sin. Yes, there's sin on earth. People sin. Okay. So somewhere from nothing but God till now, God created sin. What do, you, what do you mean God created sin? Well, if there was, did God have sin when he was sitting out there floating in the nothingness for 100 trillion years? No, God's perfect. Okay, so no sin, right. And now there is sin. Yes, so God created sin. It's not hard math. It's, it's, it's basic math. Two plus two is four. It's not hard to figure out. There was nothing. Now there is something. He was the only one creating stuff because he was the only one there. So this, this becomes um, a trap for me. This becomes a conversation where this is a, this is a fallacy in every religion. It doesn't matter if you're Christian or Catholic or Buddhist or Muslim. At some point, your God was the only thing all-powerful. Now there is sin. Your God created it because there wasn't any before. It, it doesn't even matter. To, when, when, these, when these people are arguing, it doesn't even matter which religion they're arguing over. They blanket it with everyone. They cover it. Now, they're specifically talking to me in, 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 in one respect about Christianity, but they they very vocal saying this is for everybody. This is, it covers all of them. It doesn't care who you are. They don't, they, don't, they don't like religion, and they blame religion for a lot of things, and this is their way of kind of driving the stake through the heart of religion, saying this is all your fault. There was no sin. Now there's sin. Whatever God you believe in obviously created it and produced it. And now we're all in this mess. Um, so here's the way I explained it. I said, okay, uh, I understand it, God, everything, nothing there, but God, now, now there's all this stuff in sin. God created sin. I said, but he didn't. God didn't create sin. Just like if you believe the story of Adam and Eve and the tree, Adam and Eve, God says, Adam, here's Adam, here's Eve, there's a tree. Is there sin created right now? No. No sin yet. Just two people in a tree. Don't eat from the tree. As soon as you do, now there's sin. So you could say God created the opportunity for sin. I guess that would be a fair assessment. But the way I explained it, I said, you don't understand that God created Red and blue, okay? Is red a sin? No. Is blue a sin? No, no, no. But humans, people, mix the colors together and produce purple, and now there's a sin. Let's say purple is a sin. God didn't create purple. God created red and blue, and humans put it together and created purple. Humans put their decisions together, created the sin, and then blame God. And I said, that's what you're doing. I stopped him and said, that's what you're doing right now. God could be accused of creating the opportunity for sin, but there was uh, there was the, the flip side of what he was getting at was obedience. He was trying to foster and, and have them show obedience and love towards him. They chose to eat the tree. That's the sin. They did it. He created the opportunity. They mixed red and blue together and made purple and held up purple and go, this isn't our fault. You did this. No. God created red and blue. You mixed it together and made purple. And now you're upset that there's purple in the world and you can't get rid of the purple in the world. Now everybody's got purple in the world and you're mad about it. Well, you did it. 
that was my explanation. That was the, the this is a very short version on what how the conversation went. And I'm 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 editing myself for tons of different avenues of conversation, as you might have noticed. But I just wanted you to know there, that's my talk. I didn't really talk about too much religion specifically, did I? Just talked about God or a deity, whichever religion you're talking about, and sin, however you want to call it. That was my explanation. Yeah, you're free to pick it apart if you want to.